In this lecture, we are going to talk about gradient descent. algorithm and steepest descent algorithm. Both of these algorithms rely on the first order approximation of the function, uh, the first order gradient, to find the, the iterative updates and update your solution toward finding an optimal solution to a given optimization problem. All right, so let's just start with gradient descent. Gradient descent is a first order iterative algorithm for optimizing a given function. So basically, it helps finding the local minimum of a differentiable function. So your function should be differentiable at the point which is going to have the optimum. So the main idea is to have iterative steps at the opposite direction of the gradient. of gradient of the function. So how do we uh, formulate this? First, uh, let's consider you have function f of x. So in the first step, we are going to use uh, the Taylor's theorem to approximate f of x plus alpha as so we use the approximation f of x plus alpha gradient of f of x. So for the gradient descent algorithm, here is our update rule. Gradient descent algorithm x at iteration k plus one. So what's x? x is vector of variables. Is equal to x at iteration k minus alpha multiplied by gradient of f evaluated at x at iteration k. So this is the update rule for gradient descent algorithm. Uh, the next algorithm that we want to discuss is a stiffest descent. So for a stiffest descent, uh, you know, for the gradient descent, alpha or that coefficient was constant. But for a stiffest descent, here is our update. X at iteration k plus one is X at iteration k minus alpha k, so this is the coefficient at iteration k. So now alpha is also changing with iteration. Multiplied by gradient of f evaluated at the value of x in iteration k. And how do we find alpha? So where alpha k is the minimum value of f of so you already have the value of x at iteration k plus alpha k, which is your, your unknown dk. So your variable in this problem is alpha k. And what's dk? dk is the value of gradient of f evaluated at iteration k. So 
this is your only variable in this optimization problem. And this gives you the value of alpha k, which is going to be the coefficient for the update rule of a steepest descent method. If you want to show this like uh, graphically, this is the contours for your function. So let's say you start from x0. Then you have this. Then you go exactly, this is going to be 90 degrees. This is x1. So it's alpha k, make sure that uh, these are orthogonal. And then you have x2. So you continue these steps until you find your optimal point. All right, so uh, there are two propositions for propositions for a steepness descent. One, x k plus one minus x k, this is a vector, is perpendicular to x k plus two minus x k plus one. So this is where our steps are perpendicular to each other. And the other one, if gradient of f of xk is non-zero, then f of xk plus one is less than f of xk. Which means your function is moving towards uh, reducing the value until finding the minimum value. So the value of your function is reducing at each iteration. There is a, a special case for a stiffest descent algorithm, which is for quadratic function, a stiffest descent algorithm for quadratic problem. So quadratic problems, uh, they are, they can be formulated in this form, x transpose ax plus b transpose x, and a should be symmetric, should be symmetric. So in this case, our alpha k for the updates of uh, the steepest descent algorithm are going to be dk transpose dk divided by two multiplied by dk transpose a d k. So this gives you the value of alphas for the updates of uh, a steepest descent. So what are the updates of a steepest descent? Just to remind, x at iteration k plus one is equal to x at iteration k minus alpha k gradient of f evaluated at iteration k. We are going to talk elaborately about quadratic optimization uh, in the next few lectures. So this is called quadratic program. Uh, there is another special case of steepest descent. So for the steepest descent algorithm for equality constraint optimization. All right, let's say you have this function, this optimization problem, minimizing f of x subject to g of x is equal to zero. So what we are going to do, we are going to add additional set of variables, which is vector of lambda or Lagrange uh, multipliers to integrate the constraint 
in the objective function. What does that mean? That means transforming our problem into minimizing f of x is equal to f of x. So this is capital letter F minus lambda transpose g of x. In this case, our variables are x's and lambdas. And then we can use gradient status descent to solve this given problem. So in this lecture, we talked about uh, steepest descent and gradient descent methods. Gradient descent. And steepest descent algorithm. So for the gradient descent, the update rule was xk plus one is x at iteration k minus alpha gradient of f evaluated at iteration k. But for the steepest descent, uh, the coefficient, so this here is constant, but for steepest descent, it's changing over different iterations. x at iteration k minus alpha k gradient of f of xk. So how do we find the value of alpha k? We solve this problem of minimizing alpha k. xk is given, alpha k is unknown. DK is something that we determine here. So what's the value of DK? It's the minus gradient of F evaluated at your current uh, set of variables. So here, alpha K is our variable. 